He sits! Ah! Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 what? Um, uh, greetings! Uh, hello, eggshell viewers, um, and viewers like, uh, my, my, my name is Yasashi Tsukun, and right now I'm gonna continue more of this Go Go Nippon, my very first trip to Japan. And literally, it is my first trip to Japan. As we can see, it load. And we're on, last time we left off, we're on the third day of the morning of the Misaki residence. Now we're gonna, we're gonna continue on with this adventure. So here we go. Without further ado, let's continue. Shall we? <coughs> morning. Uh, uh. Oh, good morning. You're up early. Y yeah, I, I got up a little earlier, so I so I could think over where I want to go. Uh, I I see. That's nice. Uh huh. Sounds like you're getting the most out of your days here in Japan. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's thanks to you and Akira. <laughs> when you say that, it makes it all feel worthwhile. Hmm? Say, where is Akira? She must still be asleep. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you try to wake her up? What? Me? Wake up Akira? Oh wait, oh wait, no, oh whoops, uh, I kinda, oh well. It's nothing to worry about, I'm not telling you to go into her room. Whoops. Just stand outside the door and call out to her until you get the response. Gosh, I'm used to these one-on-one -on -one responses, but I guess that's a, I guess that's what it's gonna be. Uh, 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 I, I see. Uh, uh it's Kira. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into her room while she's asleep. While she's asleep. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess I'll go wake her up. If you would. Yeah, I wish I could just let her sleep, but I guess we can't stop the day until Akira wakes up. I mean, seriously. She kind of reminded me of my sister. I'm pretty sure Akira's room is the first room on the second floor. Yeah, that's it. The room with the open door. Open door. What? Uh, uh? Oh dear. Ah. 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 Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. How did this keep happening? Fast my coat on now. No, I can't secure it in a com compromis compromising situation. Just, just, just stay cool. Right? Just, just stay cool. Okay. I'm not into lolitas. Uh, 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 um, good morning. You you didn't come downstairs, so she sent me to wake you up. Uh, but, but, but I see you you're already awake, so 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 that's that's good. So anyways, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. C come down when you're ready. All right. Ugh. Ah, ah, ah. Now, now she should know it's just a misunderstand. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Ding. Uh, or not? Ah! 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 Oh dear. Someone help! Ah! And so it all faded to black. Nah. <laughs> ah, I wonder if Akira's still mad at me. Ah. She's been quiet all through her breakfast. Um. um Yup, she's still totally mad. Come on, Aki-chan, don't stay mad. It's your fault for not waking up on time, don't you think? That, that was just uh... And and I don't see how you can blame him when you when you were the one changing with the door open, right? Anyway, it's entirely your fault, so don't be mad at him, okay? 
As a token of your restored friendship, won't you make the after meal coffee? Mm, yes, ma'am! <sighs> that was a close one. Uh, thanks, Makoto. Uh, you don't have to thank me. I'm the one who asked you to get her. Uh, that's true, but... Um, uh, anyway, it's over now, so let's not bring it up again. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, here's coffee. Here. Ah, uh, 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 thanks. Uh, well, at any rate, I'm glad we could. Uh, uh, huh? This coffee is, uh... <sighs> what is this? What is this? It's full of salt! Ah! Yeah. <sighs> Did you put salt in instead of sugar? Nah. I'm sure it's just an innocent. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Um, um, uh, I guess it was just a mistake. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing that. Uh. In this case, I'll just have to, uh. Gulp, uh. Gulp, uh. Gulp, uh. Gulp, uh. Gulp, uh. Gulp, uh. Wow, that coffee sure was great! Thanks, uh... Yeah, yeah that was salty as hell, uh. Idiots! Huh? Give me your cup! Huh? Give it to me! Come on! Uh, uh... Something like that? How am I supposed to stay mad at you? Yeah, uh, Akira. Uh. Okay, here's another coffee. Take it. Yeah. Mm, don't worry, there's nothing weird in it this time. Uh. Yeah. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. Then drink it up. You'll get, you'll get the taste on your mouth. Y yeah. Uh, thanks. Uh. uh. Anyway, let's decide where to go today. So last time we went to Asakura in Shinjuku. And there was Ikibukuro, Ashigaba, Ashihabara, or Shibuya Cho. But, uh, there's also a Ginza. Son. Last time we went to those and all that such, um. But I think I'm gonna go to Ginza's show. Because, uh, yeah, the Ginza line. Hmm. I think I'd like to go here. Uh. Well, uh, what? That place is known as Japan's upper class district. You're the ones, uh. I'll be showing you around today. Anyway, get your things ready, and we'll go. Uh, upper class district. What could it be? This should be fun. Hmm. And so we spent one dollar and fifty-eight dollars. Yeah, uh, that's 58 cents, uh... Hmm. Ah, uh, so this is today's destination, huh? <sighs> so, this is the place we'll be touring today. Ginza! Ah, uh, Ginza? Yes, Ginza is famous in Tokyo. as home to many high-class stores. Wow, uh... The Gin and Ginza mean silver. Over 200 years ago, in the Edo period, Ginza was a place where they minted coins. That's why it came to be called Ginza. Wow, I see. So it was full of upper class shops, even in the era of the samurai, huh? Not exactly. Uh, huh? During that period, the shopping districts were primarily next door and Nihonbashi, which is now a business town. Ginza itself was more of an artistic town. R really? Then, when did it take to form form we know today? You might know this, but during the era of the samurai, Japan closed its borders to other countries. That lasted until 150 years ago, 
When the Shogun lost for ten political control, as foreign relations began, again the people of Japan were terrified. They were shocked to think that such technological the advanced countries existed out beyond the sea. 150 years ago is around the time of the American Civil War and the World's Fair in Paris. Yes, seeing that, Japan worked hard to see that it wouldn't lose its technology and influence those foreign countries. At around that time, two great fire fires swept through the Ginza area. Nearly all the buildings at the time were made of wood, so naturally, the whole area was burnt to nothing. It was sad, obviously, but the people of the day were determined not to let things end with that. They took to the Japan proverb, Wa, Wazawai Tenchi It means when bad things happen, you'll make the best of them. The people took those words to heart and used the culture and technology of those foreign countries to rebuild Ginza from the ashes. Unlike what we do, well, yeah, we do that in America, but yeah, like what we do with Ground Zero, I guess. Um, they took the opportunity to develop the new Ginza as years went by. Before long, department stores and theaters appeared and people began to flock to it as the cutting-edge shopping district in Japan. I see, uh... You were saying Kinza was the first modern shopping district in the modern era? Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, I... Uh, why? Why do I fail with fo Something like that. Ah. Even though it's large, large shopping districts to uh, Japan are referred to as the Kinza of X. They're all named after Tokyo's Kinza. Wow, uh... Now that she mentions it, the buildings around here do have some kind of a retro feel to them. Must be remnants of that era. <sighs> There's one more point of interest here. Point of interest? What is it? You'll see if you check a map of Tokyo after you get home, but this place... Uh, you'll see Ginza south east of Tokyo Station. It feels quite far inland. But 300 years ago, it was a wetland. A wetland? Here? Are you saying that this place used to be by the ocean? That's right! The ocean used to run up against Kinza's eastern side. They filled it in 300 years ago and used reclamation lands for a fishing market that became very famous. I didn't know that. When you look at it now, it's hard to believe it was ever coastal land. Right, to the east of here, across the Sum Sumida River, there's an area known as, known as Tsukishima that was also reclaimed from the ocean. Ah, uh, so if Tokyo's shape shape was changed 300 years ago by reclama reclaiming lands from the ocean, you could call it a man-made city. That's about right. It's almost like the city of water, Venice. <laughs> That's right. Long ago, Tokyo was full of canals, which were used for shipping the largest majority of co goods. Even now, many of those rivers remain as subterranean drainage. When you think about it, I guess Tokyo is a city of water, a lot like Venice. Tokyo, a city of water, huh? Anyway, as long as we're here, we should have a long look around Ginza. Sure. Ginza, huh? It looks like such a modern city, with all these buildings everywhere. But long ago, it was right at, by the ocean, full of canals. Full of boats, hauling things everywhere. Oh, space bars like that. When you think about it, Tokyo is such an exotic city. Canals, uh, Water, uh, <laughs> About a hundred years ago, when Giza was striving to become a leading city business town, they say that just walking around Giza was a sign of status. What? What the heck? Maybe it's because we were talking about water, but suddenly I have to go to the bathroom! Oh gosh, oh! It was to the point where they coined the term Ginbura. 
but it doesn't look like there are in any public toilets around here. Huh? Might have heard this, but the Buddha and Gina B Gina Buddha comes from the word Buddha Buddha Suda to walk around aimlessly. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, what's wrong? Are you listening? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. It's, uh, I just really, ha really have to uh, go to the bathroom for my life. <laughs> Have you been holding it in this whole time? No, well, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can use a bathroom in that department store. Sure, let's do that. Ah, but, but I don't know if I can pay. I, I don't have any small change. Not even in Ginza do they charge people for using toilets. You don't need change. Ah, I, I see. Uh, uh, yes, I don't think there are any bathrooms in Japan that charge you to use them. When you have to go, a department store or a supermarket is your best bet. I, I see. But, but, this is not the time for lengthy explanations. I'm going to hit up the toilets in the department store, so wait for me. Ah! Take your time. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah, but it really did shock me, huh? I can't believe even department store toilets have that auto wash function. Uh. And the water in the boys' urinals is set to flow automatically. Japan puts an amazing amount of effort into their toilets. Uh. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to keep you waiting. Uh. <laughs> you didn't! Don't worry at all! More importantly, where do you want to go now? Would you like to walk around Ginza some more? Mm, let me see, uh... We've been walking around for a while, but this all feels out of my league! I know you said it was an upper-class district, and the stores are all clean, clearly high-class brands. Mm, I see. In that case, let's, let's travel a bit further out, shall we? Sure. That sounds good. In that case, where could we go, um... I know! Over here! Okay, uh, let's check it out. Uh, I'm glad you're excited, but do you even know where we're going? Obviously not, but I know I'm in a good I'm in good hands with you, Makoto. Uh -huh. hmm? What's wrong? What's that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, let's go. Uh, sure. <clears throat> well, here we are. This is, uh... This is Japan's second tallest building, Tokyo Tower. This is Tokyo Tower? Yes. 333 me meters tall. It was constructed in 1958, so it's been the symbol of Tokyo for about 50 years. It's a tourist spot, but it's also a broadcast tower. Un Unfortunately, the, the broadcast tower, the building, the Tokyo... Skytree has stolen the title of title of toilets in Japan from it. But I think Tokyo Tower will remain a symbol of Tokyo, even so. A symbol of Tokyo? Soka. Incidentally, they say that the total numbers of visitors to Tokyo Tower is over 160 million. 160 million? That many? Yes, that's how beloved a building it is. Tokyo Tower. To be honest, I've been wanting to see it myself. Wow, really? Yeah. You see it you see it a lot in ja Japanese animes and movies. True. It's the settling setting for a lot of dramas and there are even songs about it. That's right. I've even seen it destroyed before. But I see. So this is Tokyo Tower, huh? What shall we do? Shall we go inside? Yeah. As long as we're here, let's go on in. <laughs> and so we spent $12.97 on just getting onto a tower. Hmm. Ah, more time has passed. Uh, are you okay, Makoto? Um, yes, sir. The view from the observation deck is amazing. We didn't have any problems with our look down window. 
After that, I never expected the trap to be looking in the last part of our visit. Wait, there was a trap door? See? There's a wax museum in the tower. Hmm. Went in uh, out of curiosity, but it had a creepy atmosphere. In the very end, uh, they had a wax recreation of medieval European torture devices. European torture devices. Uh-oh. It was obvious that they were fake, but some people are just weak to that kind of thing. I'm sorry. I didn't think something like that would be in there. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, you look a little pale, though. Maybe we should go home. Um, don't worry about it. I'll be okay after a bit of rest. N no way. Don't worry about me. Alright? But if we go home, um... Don't worry, alright? I still have a lot of time in Japan, so let's call it a day for now. We can look around more tomorrow. Oh, Aldrich, uh... Okay, if you insist, I'll go along with you. All right, then let's get home, um... And so... Uh, what, uh... Um, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I told you not to worry about it, uh... You really are kind, um... D don't say that. Thank you. One dollar fifty-eight cents spending. Just going back home. Oh dear. We got home and got some rest. Thankfully, Makoto was feeling more self again by evening. To tell the truth, I wish I could have spent more time with her. But I'm sure we'll get to walk around again another day. For now, I guess I'll just have to make do. Ah. Hey, Aki-chan, what's, what's for dinner tonight? Tonight, I was thinking of making curry, curry rice. Curry rice. Uh, yay. Yay. I, lo I love you, curry rice, Saki-chan. Oh, gosh, another voice change. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Blah. Curry. Isn't it Indian food? Uh, well, well, uh, curry originated from India, but it came to England from there. It came to Japan from there, and Japanese people reformed it to suit their plates, palates. So that's why! So that's what happened. My little sister keeps cooking curry, and she thinks that it's from Japanese, Japan, but now that I know it's from England... Haha! <laughs> reformed it, huh? Yeah, I guess I've changed a little from a few days in Japan. The same could happen with food coming to another country, too. Curry too, and pizza and pasta, of course. French, Chinese, Asian food, East and West. Japanese people eat food from all countries. Pretty much like America. But they incorporate them all aggressively into their own food cultures, while we passively accept it. I have an image that Japan is all about sushi and tempura and sukiyaki. But Japanese people really eat a wide variety of foods in their life, much like Americans. Well, except for the fast food part, of course, but yeah. By the way, curry's up there with ramen as Japanese. Japan's natural, national dish now. National dish? That's right. Curry rice, curry bread, and even soup curry. There are many variations. I don't think there's a person in Japan who doesn't like curry. Wow, curry's really that popular. But among those, curry rice is the king of kings. Everyone loves it, from children to adults. Just hearing about it makes me hungry. Oh, gosh. Doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, ah, that's it. Hey, Aki-chan, let me help you out, okay? Oh, what? You want to help? Sure, why not? Y you don't have to, I can make it myself. You, you talk to him while I, make, while I make it. But I, but you make dinner every day. I feel so, so bad about it. Please? You, you don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. 
what's wrong? It's not like you. It's not like you to be dis. dissembling. It's just a. What's wrong? Makoto. Makoto's asking you help, so let her! I know she said that a clue was the better cook, but Makoto can't be without skill herself. Akira? Fine! If you insist, I guess only Chan can help you with the cooking! R really? Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! Good luck, Makoto. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Leave it to me! That's right. Maybe I can do something too. What's she on about? <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, w wait a minute, Aki. Uh... Maybe I'll let Ochinichan make the salad. <laughs> I got it. Responsibility. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> she can't. She can't possibly. Uh... <laughs> Salad, salad! First you make the dressing. I want lots of seasoning to make it nice and tasty. Oh dear. First I'll add salt. Oh no! Uh, wait, wait, wait. That, that's, that's almost the whole bag! That, that, that's way too much! Ah. Now I'll add a... Uh, what exactly is this? Ah, oh well, I'll throw it right, I'll throw it right in. I can't. Uh, I see. This is why Akira was so hesitant. So, when she said responsibility, she meant, uh. uh. Here we go. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Here you are. I worked hard on the salad, so do help yourself. Sh sure, um. You want to put on my special dressing? Thanks, um. That! Ah! In other news, what is this? Oh, salad! Ah! I see some long, tortured strands of some, something sticking out from the bowl. Ah! And in this dressing, it's a naturally bright green color. Ah! Ah! Please, help yourself. <laughs> but I won't get e eaten if I just stare at it all day. Itadakimasu. Go. Jog? What the? Anyway, at least Akira didn't let her get involved with the curry at all. Yeah, that curry really was delicious, uh, nevertheless. I guess I now know to leave the cooking in Akira's hand at all times. I'll, I'll make sure to do that from now on. <laughs> anyway, uh, at least it's over now. Yay! Oh, Nichan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. What? What did you talk about before dinner? About that... About that... He's only got three days left in Japan. We have time to make the trip. We'd have time to make the trip. Wouldn't we? That's true. Because I'll be going home in four days. 
that's right. But I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little further tomorrow. So somewhere further? Yes, obviously there's still there's still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but uh, as long as you're in Japan, we thought you might like to see some some place outside of Tokyo. Some place outside of Tokyo, like where? A place no travel to Japan should be with that. Yes, there's only one place. Uh, are you talking about her? Yes! Kyoto! Kyoto! K Kyoto! Oh! Kyoto! I would like to go there, but, uh. But, but, but uh. What? What do you have a problem with that? I, I don't have a problem, but. I don't know a lot about to Kyoto, and either, even if you want to go tomorrow, I, I don't even know how we get there. Oh, is that the... Uh, don't worry with you, don't worry your head about it. Yeah, we'll go with you. Huh? Y you mean, you mean the both of you? Of course! I know you haven't gone out with both of us, but we want to go with on this trip. Yeah? I've been to Kyoto many times before, but this is a special opportunity if you're going. I... I see. I would never think about it if I... if I were by myself, but having been there yeah, would be reassuring. Okay, in that case, let's make... let's take a trip. Hooray! Then it's set up! Yeah... I know, this is sudden, but maybe we should make it an overnight stay in... Kyoto. We'll take care of the reservation, so you just get ready for the trip. Got it. Kyoto, eh? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. It, it's a real sudden trip. It's, it's a really sudden trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. Getting to look at a lot of a lot of different places, one of the joys of travel. Kyoto, huh? I wonder what what's waiting for me there. This should be fun. Ah, and so day three has passed, and day four has arrived. But what will happen in Kyoto, or at least the trip to there? Find out next time on Go Go Nippon, my very first trip to Japan. Now. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Yasashi. No, no. Like and favor if you're enjoying this session of, uh, Go Go Nippon. Uh, subscribe to one of my eggshell viewers and look forward to how this playthrough would actually unfold. This is Yasashi Tukun signing out. Have a good day, everybody. Hopefully I don't mix up the voices next time I play this game. And yeah, hopefully everything goes well. Anyways, gotta go. See ya! Bye!